Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Ugh. It is a yucky, rainy, windy day outside so you might hear a little action going on outside. We might lose power, who knows? It's all very exciting. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about a new eyeshadow palette from Violet Voss. It is one of their mini palettes. You know I love me some Violet Voss on this channel. You know I love me some color. So of course I am going to be talking about the Forget Me Not palette. It is one of their mini palettes, like I said, and this does retail for $18. And you can actually get it on Sephora's website as well as the Violet Voss website. So it just looks like this. It's real cute and compact. It's called Forget Me Not. And on the inside, you just have this mirror that I already got fingerprints on, and you have 10 green, and blue shadows with this one bright coral over here and this little brown shade going on right here. So it's mostly like that blue green color story. And if you're interested in this palette and the whole kind of like color scheme, you might be interested in the other palette that they have in this series, which is called their Sweet Violet Palette. And this is just a mix of purples. And again, you have like those two random colors over here and I think that's kind of funny I just realized sweet violet forget me not names of flowers so who knows maybe they'll keep this theme going and maybe we'll see like a rose palette or I don't know a daisy yellow or are daisies yellow no they're white I don't know sunflower <laughs> I don't know the point is maybe they'll kind of have this be a theme but I was very excited about this palette because I love me purples and I love me blues and it looks like out of the 10 shades that you get here four of them are matte and the rest of them are shimmer. I personally can visualize a whole look with this palette but some people might look at it and be like "Ooh, I wish there was like a matte brown shade that's just like a little bit lighter than this one and a little bit darker than this one well this one's actually a coral but you get what I'm saying but for me I'm not afraid to put a little color in the crease so I can kind of already visualize what I want to do with this palette so ooh, I'm so excited so let's zoom you on in and let's zoom you on in and we can get to playing with this palette so when it comes to this palette it looks like none of them have shade names so I'm just going to point to the color and tell you what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sort of minty sea foam green color and just put that into the crease. Now I kind of find Violet Boss shadows to be hit or miss. Sometimes they're patchy, sometimes they're really pigmented and good. The shimmers, I've never had a problem with the shimmers. I, like, I always feel like they're really good. So it's kind of who knows what you're gonna get it could honestly it could go either way like I feel like you have a brand like Colourpop and you pretty much always know you're gonna get something good this one is kind of a surprise like I tried their donut palette and I wasn't the biggest fan but honestly this one seems like it's doing a pretty good job I'm liking this green it's pretty vibrant there is just a little bit of patchiness going on but nothing I don't know nothing that is like super crazy noticeable in my opinion and I feel like you can kind of just build right up over that if that makes sense okay wow see that builds up very quickly to a nice opaque shade sometimes with pastel shadows yeah I'd call this a pastel shade I don't know sometimes I feel like with pastel shades it's really hard to get a nice vibrant color but this one, no problem. Okay, I'm just gonna take this brush right here and just blend it out a little bit more around the edges, all over, whatever. Okay, so you do lose a little bit of that vibrancy when you blend and it does get a little bit patchy when you blend. Okay, it does blend easily, but yeah, you do get a little bit of patchiness when you go to blend. I don't know. I'm not mad at it, personally. So, now in the outer corner, I'm going to take this deeper green color. Pack that in with my dome brush. Oh, 
Okay, see, this is one of those mist shades. Uh, well, I guess it goes, I don't know. I'm not like a super fan of this shade, huh? It looks a very similar to the color that we just put on. I have this one part of my eyelid that I swear no pigment wants to ever adhere to. It's like right there. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. It's just like that one part of my eye. Just like no pigment shall pass this way. Okay, we're gonna blend that out. Okay, again, I noticed in the same thing, it blends out a little bit patchy and not as vibrant. Hmm. Okay, we are getting a little bit of fallout. Nothing too crazy though. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that green shade to be honest. So we're definitely getting more of a green look out of this palette than a blue look. I mean, I did go for the green shade, so of course. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it's a small palette, but you can get a blue look, you can get a green look, you can get a nice coral look if you wanted, or a little bit of a gold look. So there is definitely variety in this palette, I would say. So that seems nice. Moving on, normally I'd probably just go for like a whole blue green look. Uh, I'm gonna mix it up and put that bad boy on the lid. I just love coral lately. I don't know why, I just love that color. And blue and just uh, mixing them together. I think that would be so beautiful. So let's see, okay, dang, coral isn't as vibrant as I was hoping, but honestly, let's see, I bet if you put a nice base underneath it, especially if it was a whiter base, that would probably pop a lot more, okay. You gotta be a little bit careful about mixing the colors, because when you do, it gets just slightly muddy looking all right so definitely be careful about what you mix that coral shade with because it does not play well with others it definitely gets a little bit muddy when you start mixing it with other colors so now i'm going to take this blue shade right there that kind of deep sky blue shade and do a little bit of smudging action Oh my god, I just got it in my eye. Okay. I like to finish off my looks by taking a nice shimmery shade and highlighting the brow bone. But I'm not seeing any real workable shimmery shades. I like to go for like a nice sort of champagne color. But again, not seeing anything real light here. So you know what? Let's just go for it and take this green shade and just see what happens because you know what makeup is about having fun and oh my god my foot's asleep <laughs> makeup is about having fun and you know what I ain't going anywhere so who cares if I have a green highlight on my lid I don't <laughs> okay that's glittery that is very glittery I got definitely have glittery green brows now Okay, maybe I care just a little bit about <laughs> having green <laughs> shimmery lids. You know what? That shade is pretty. I wonder wonder how that green shade would look on the lid. So I, I just looked in the mirror and I'm like, where did that crease shade go? Because I hardly saw it. Like, it is just the slightest stain of green on my lid. So yeah, that like definitely Houdini'd on me. So, ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, like I said, their shimmers are beautiful. So what I've noticed in with Violet Boss, cause I've reviewed quite a few palettes. I have quite a few of their palettes and I'm noticing, ooh. I'm noticing that I can't multitask. Anyways. <laughs> What I was noticing a little bit about their palettes is it seems like their full size palettes are pretty good. Their mini palettes, eh, I feel like they kind of missed the mark. 
Like, they definitely have some niceness to them. But then there's times where I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I just feel like if you're trying Violet Voss out for the first time, go with one of their bigger palettes because I feel like the little palettes might disappoint you a little bit. Their Sakura Blossom palette I like, their Sugar Crystal palette I like, I like their See and Later palette, their Flamingo palette's not too shabby, but I don't know, like the minis I'm just like not super duper impressed with. Although I gotta say, oh my gosh, do they ever kill it when it comes to their shimmer shades, okay? I will say that, like, hot damn. Oh my word, people! Look at that shade. Holy crap. That is gorgeous. Okay, so final thoughts. I know that this video was kind of like all over the place. Like, I hate this palette. I like this palette. Get it. No, don't get it. Honestly, like I've been saying about Violet Voss in a few of my videos, their shimmers I feel like are phenomenal. I love their shimmers. And luckily, this palette has more shimmers than mattes. I feel like their mattes eh, sometimes miss the marks, especially when it comes to like the blue and the purple shades. I feel like that's a tricky color to pull off and they just haven't quite gotten there yet with those colors. This shade was pretty decent, but it, it gets muddy quickly, so just be careful how you wear it. Like I said, I think if you're going for the Violet Voss experience for the first time, do get one of their full-size palettes because I feel like that's where they really shine, especially, like I said, with their shimmer shades. So for $18, honestly, I'm not mad about this palette. I really not because there were enough shades in this palette that I enjoyed and I feel like, you know, it's not like, oh my God, it's the worst palette ever. I mean, it's definitely not the best blue palette ever. I mean, it's kind of a little bit muddy and it uh, it's kind of patchy and it kind of blends out into nothing so yeah the mattes i'm not <laughs> not really feeling it so yeah honestly i mean i'm not gonna tell you to get this palette i'm not gonna tell you to pass on this palette like you can kind of see how i wore it and you can decide if the shimmers alone are enough for you to get this palette or, you know, maybe you're like, I see nothing wrong with those mats and you want to get it yourself. For me, personally, not impressed with the mats. Shimmers, always love them. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. There's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like Violet Voss because I do too and I review them like all the time. Okay, bye!